Hey guys, Brandon Woolham with CCM Magazine. Today we are hanging out with Corey Asbury. What's up, my man? What's up, brother? Thanks for having me, man. Yeah, so it, it took a few years, but we finally got some new music out there from uh, Corey Asbury. Pioneer is out now, and uh, this one sounds a little different than what people are used to. A little less of the corporate worship sound. This one uh, I describe maybe as a, a Jesus-inspired singer-songwriter album. Yeah, I like that. That sounds about right, man. I like it. <laughs> so now that people have had this one in their uh, in their hands or on their smartphones for a couple months, what do you hope they're they're taking from it now? They're finally able to hear Pioneer. Yeah, yeah, um, man. I hope they're uh, hope they're meeting God first and foremost. Um, I hope that they're finding healing for their hearts. I know life can be difficult sometimes. Um, we all run into stuff, and a lot of times we as Christians like to pretend like uh, everything's perfect, especially when we go to church. Uh, we high five our pastors and pretend like everything's all right. But sometimes there's stuff going on on the inside. Sometimes, sometimes there's stuff going on with our families. And uh, I think God wants to be right there in the middle of all that. And uh, hopefully this record can speak to people who find themselves um, maybe in some difficult places, maybe not the easiest places. Because, um, um, again, God wants to be met in the middle of the stuff, stuff that we're we're actually dealing with when you were getting ready to uh to put this album out were there fears of what people would think when they heard this this new Corey sound yeah um, anytime you're releasing new music especially when you know i've got sort of the <clears throat> juggernaut reckless love hanging over my head um in the best way possible obviously i'm super grateful for the song um but you never know how people are going to receive the new stuff um especially when the the subject matter can be a little more difficult in nature Maybe not as cookie cutter Christian as you've heard before. Um, so you got those thoughts, but at the same time, I'm going, God, is this what you want us to do? If so, awesome. Let's do it. And uh, you're living here in Nashville now. You wrote this one in Nashville, and uh, this one kind of has more of a country sound that came out with it. Some personal tracks on this one, too. How different was it writing with kind of the songwriters here in town in Nashville? Oh, it's amazing, man. I mean, the, the people here are crazy. They're, they're incredible writers. Um, we got to sit down with a bunch of really cool people. Tom Douglas, um, Lori McKenna, um, Shay Mooney, a bun bunch of people who kind of come from that world um, and are just incredible songwriters. Like, they're amazing at their craft. Um, and they love God, too, which is pretty incredible. And, you know, you wouldn't know it, but... Uh, They've they've got some of the same walks that we do. So it was it was really um, it's really special to be able to connect with a lot of people from here in town and go, hey, this is what we're going after. You want to jump in? And pretty much everyone was like, yeah, let's let's do it. A lot of songs on this one uh, have personal connections to you, very personal connections. Were these all songs you wrote over the past three years or so? Or were some of these in the bank for a while and you finally got like an album that you felt like these these will fit on? No, I'd say all of them came from, you know, the past two, three years, um, whether they were personal experiences of mine or my family's or my wife's or, you know, whoever's, um, there are connections to my story and, and our story all across these songs. And I'd say that it's definitely very recent, probably two, three years. You got the new music video that just came out a few weeks ago, too. It's uh, Kind is out there. Kind of a combination of a music video and a, and a short movie film there. How did the idea come about to, to do that? Yeah, yeah. Um, we knew we wanted to do something um, for that song because it's just so cinematic in nature, um, lyrical content. And I had fallen in love with uh, a video called um, Bench Seat by Chase Rice. And uh, it basically follows the story of this, this dude and his dog and, and the way that kind of he gets healing through that whole situation. And um, it just destroyed me. I cried like a baby, showed everyone I knew. Um, and I, I told my team, I was like, hey, when we go to do this, I want to find the guy who did this video and see if he'll jump in with us on the kind video. Um, and thankfully, you know, we reached out to him and he said, dude, I love the song. I love the concept. Um, let's do something. His name's Kaiser Cunningham. And uh, it was amazing. Um, it, it was really fun and, and really kind of interesting. I've, I've never really done anything like that. But to bring that song to life um, with real people um, in real spaces was like, dang, this, this kind of hits home. <laughs> Is that something you'd want to do in the future again? Or it was kind of a one-off because this song kind of fit that mold so well? 
I really enjoyed it, to be honest. And I think there, there's something so beautiful to uh, bringing visuals to, you know, what you're hearing on a track. Um, so I would definitely do it again, 100%. It was a big undertaking, um, but I'd, I'd definitely go after it again. And it takes a much bigger budget to pull that kind of thing off. So we need people to go watch <laughs> the video, stream the song, and then maybe we'll be able to do it again. Exactly, yep. Uh, this year, you've had some, some big collaborations, Amy Grant and Natalie Grant, both this year. Now that you're here in Nashville, where so many of these artists live, both in the Christian industry, the country industry, kind of every genre is here at this point. Who's somebody you'd really like to, to meet up with and collaborate in the future? Man, that's tough. Um, I got a bunch more coming right now that that no one knows about, kind of mostly from people in the country space. Um, but, you know, my my heroes are like a little older, you know, like Peter Gabriel is a hero of mine. Um, Damien Rice is an incredible songwriter and hero of mine. Like if I could somehow hook up with some of those guys, that would be insane. But for, for now, um, been connected with a lot of, like you said earlier, the country world and um, especially the artists. Um, so I think we'll have a lot of collabs coming with those guys, maybe even kind of a deluxe bonus version of pioneers with a bunch of those dudes. So that's, uh, that's going to be fun, too. I'm excited about that. Is it maybe something that you would pursue, kind of what Ann Wilson is doing now, where maybe she releases a country secular single and a Christian single and kind of juggles both genres at the same time? Man, um, I've thought about it, for sure. Um, you know, it, a lot of it feels right. A lot of it feels like um, my roots, where I come from, North Carolina, and, you know, all this bluegrass music and uh, very country vibe. Uh, there in Franklin, North Carolina. And I, I love what Anne's doing. I think um, I appreciate her sound. I appreciate her authenticity. You know, she just kind of fits. It just works. Um, so who knows, man? Who knows? We'll see what's on the docket. Yeah. Well, here in Nashville, uh, you're not part of a full-time <laughs> staff of the church, something that uh, has been a part of your life for many, many years. How has that extra time affected your ministry? Yeah um man it's it's been incredible actually you know i i my wife and i were real kind of worried um when we knew that we weren't going to be like full-time at a church for the first time in literally like 20 years like are we going to be able to still have community and feel like we're plugged in and you know just going to church is incredible not having to wake up at 5 a.m on a sunday and play you know three sets uh, <laughs> and then go to rehearsal on thursday and then do a saturday night set like it's been really amazing to be able to just go to church with my family. Um, and truly it's, it's felt like it's made me more creative, um, especially in the songwriting space, because I'm not around it as much. It doesn't feel like, you know, I'm, I'm inundated with songs left and right. Like I'm just constantly having to wade through a thousand different songs. What are we going to do this Sunday? Now it's just like, I get to listen to music because I love music. And I get to write music because I love music. <laughs> so it, it's felt pretty cool, to be honest with you, man. Love it. Well, uh, here in just a few weeks, going back out in the arena as the Hits Deep Tour will be starting. How pumped are you to be out there with Toby and all those folks? Yeah, it's, it's going to be amazing, man. Toby, you know, is uh, he's a freaking hero. Like, he's just been doing this for so many years and so faithfully, um, you know, with so much humility in his heart. When, when I first met him, he was so kind and, and so gracious. And I was like, man, this guy is different. Because you, I don't know, you, you've been around it a bunch. Yeah, yeah. You meet some folks in the industry and you're like, wow, okay, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but I feel like Toby has, he's seen the ups, he's seen the downs, he's been through it all. He's experienced so much of his in his life and still loves God and still loves people. That to me is like, okay, this is, this is special. Um, so when he reached out about that, I was like, bro, just because you reached out, I'm doing it. Like, I don't care what it looks like. I don't care how big the rooms are. I don't care how long my set is. Like, I just want to be able to hang with you and learn from you and um, go out there and serve, you know, the vision that you've got in your heart for it. So it sounds like we'll get a deluxe edition of Pioneer here fairly soon. What What's on down the road, new music? Are you already kind of writing new music in the singer songwriter style or you want to ride this cycle out for a bit? Yeah. I mean, I, I'm always writing, you know, I can't, I can't turn that off. Um, 
we're working on a covers record right now. That's, you know, probably 10, 12 tracks, songs that I've loved that have, you know, touched me however way over the years. And uh, I'm not sure exactly how we're going to produce it yet. Paul, Mabry, and I have been kind of hashing through that, what that's going to look like. But um, that's coming. We're we're recording that right now. And we're always writing, like I said. You know, so I got a bunch of new songs already that feel very much sort of pioneer-leaning, singer-songwriter, almost a country vibe, um, that we're just trying to figure out what to do with. Um, to be honest with you, you know, I'm, I'm like 38 and I'm still trying to figure out what to do with my musical uh, life and career, you know. So just trying to follow God in that and uh, and do what he has for us. All right. Well, while we wait for that, go stream Pioneer. It's only been out a couple months, so it's nice and fresh for you. That's out there on all your, your streaming stuff. Go watch the video for Kind and uh, go see Corey on Hits Deep uh, all winter long. Good to hang out with you today, Corey. Absolutely, brother. Thanks for having me, man.